Hello everyone and welcome to another repetitive episode of How Not To Write A Novel. Um, I've done some writing today, not as much as I might have liked, but um, I've added a few more paragraphs onto the interview scene. We've got to the point where Dutch is about to come in. I've had some more conversation between Daryl and Aaron about the um, upcoming interview, showing off the different worldviews. And also some hints that Julian is a bit of a jerk. But I've not done that much writing today because I did manage to distract myself for more than a couple of hours trying to put together a cover for this book. Because it seems weird that every time I mention Hunter's Gift or Hunter's War, um, I can show you the cover while I can't show you the cover for the book I'm currently working on. So now here is a cover. I've taken two pictures from a stock photo website and I spent quite a lot of time trying to cut out the woman without getting odd bits of background around her. Then put the two together and spent even more time carefully adjusting the colour balance so that they looked like they fit together. I really didn't intend to spend that long on it, it was supposed to be a quick cover just so I've got something to show, but I think it works well. That's the problem, is if you're doing your own covers and you're not an expert on it, it's easy to make some mistakes like this one. I wonder if anybody watching can tell what tell me what's wrong with that. Um, so yeah, the the obvious problem with that is that it doesn't tell you the genre. Every genre has certain conventions for its covers. For example, a romance novel will almost always have a couple on the cover, or one, one person posing in a way that's supposed to show off how attractive they are. For urban fantasy, it's nearly always main character close-up with something dramatic in the background. The problem with this one is that it doesn't say urban fantasy because the building is old. There's some graffiti there, but it's an old building and at first glance, it could pass for um, some kind of period drama. And um, you see a lot of people saying they want to make the cover of their book different, something unique that will stand out. But really, that's not what you want. Because if a person looking at it doesn't get what genre it is, then they're not going to look further. Like, if somebody is looking for urban fantasy because that's what they like to read they'll see that and think well that's a period romance or something and they won't look any further whereas somebody who's looking for period romance might pick it up look at the blurb on the back cover and then think that's not the kind of thing i read so the cover has to say what genre it is more than anything else other details are less important. Um, that's one thing that it took me a while to get used to and I hear that that's something that beginning authors take a long time to understand is the purpose of the cover is to tell your reader if it's the kind of book they want to read or not and to get their attention. The first is most important because if it's a weird cover but it doesn't tell your target audience that they this is the kind of book they want then they're not going to pick it up so you know that's something i've learned about already um but i'm still finding it very difficult to do because i can look at any number of covers for a particular genre then look and I have to look through the stock photo websites to find the elements to put on it and I can't always find the pieces I want and if I go for something that's nearly the almost maybe 
then I can end up with something like this that looks pretty nice but doesn't sell the right book. But anyway, I've still got an hour left of today so there is time for me to do some more writing before midnight but I'll try and get this video edited first and then I can write some more. That way I can get this video out either today or leave it encoding overnight so that you'll see it first thing in the morning. And then um, I think that's all I've got to say, to say today. If you do want to see what I've written today, then there will be a link to the document in the description down there. There'll be a space even further down there where you can leave comments. Um, if you want to know when my next video is out, then you can subscribe to my channel. Or if it's already out, there might be a link up there. Or if you haven't seen the previous video yet, there might be a link up there. Bye.